before we're going to get started, welcome. It's so good to see you, and thank you for being here today. Um, my name is Emily Cornell, and I direct our learning skills and evening assisted study programs. Um, and I'm really grateful just to have 10 minutes with you to talk more about these programs that are so important to many of our Dublin students. This is an excerpt from our LSP philosophy. Working one-on-one -on -one with each student, learning specialist guide, educate, and empower students to embrace their unique learning profiles. Students learn how to learn through intentional instruction in the context of meaningful work, while navigating the unique strengths and challenges that characterize their personal academic so our learning skills program is designed to work with students one-on-one -on -one and really to meet them where they are and to support their growth from that point. And that's really unique to every student. So here are some key details about our program. As I mentioned, all sessions are one-on-one -on -one between the student and the learning specialist. The student will have the same learning specialist for their full duration of the program. So some students are in our program for two years, three years, whatever that duration might be, they'll be with the same learning specialist and that relationship and understanding of the student, um, that's a key component of our program. You know, we understand our students' needs very well and that relationship is a key aspect of our program. All sessions take place in the Learning Center, which is right upstairs. Um, and sessions continue for the full academic year and they're built directly into the student's course schedule. And that's really important to have that consistency and that structure built directly in. There are two and four day program options available, and what that means is the student would either meet with their learning specialist twice a week or four times a week. And again, that continues for the full duration of the year. Uh, because of the way our scheduling works, a student can participate in both LSP and also have an elective. So one does not exclude the other, and I think that's really important too, because we want to support our students with their learning process. We also want them to be able to pursue other areas of interest that they may have, and these two programs work together. Uh, as Ms. Hutchins mentioned this morning, over 25% of our Dublin students do participate in the program, so it's very much a part of our community and a part of our culture. The program progression and duration vary by student. So a student might start with two-day LSP and they might be ready to exit the next year. Or they might start in four-day, they might really benefit from a second year of four-day before they're ready to decrease to two-day. Every progression is different um, and that's how it should be because every student's experience and learning process is different as well. There's a lot of collaboration that happens between a learning specialist and the student's advisor and the classroom teachers, and that's another really important aspect of our program as we collaborate uh, together to support each of our students. Um, and program fees do apply to LSP, and specific rates are on our website if you'd like to reference them there. So here's some areas that we might focus on with our students. And again, it is completely tailored to the individual student, so that varies. Um, executive function skills, such as prioritization, initiating tasks, the ability to follow through with them, time management and planning, um, managing long-term tasks, there's a lot that goes in there. And many of our students benefit from really direct, explicit instruction with those skills. We work with our students on active learning and retention strategies, such as uh, the reading process, the study process. Um, we want students to find strategies that work really well for them. And we also work with our students on the writing process. Um, that has so many components too. So we work with our students on planning and time management, um, brainstorming and drafting, the editing process. Um, we want to explore assistive technology with them if that would benefit their experience as well. Um, so again, we're, we're meeting the students where they are and um, providing the instruction that will benefit them. Um, and those focus points are very unique to each student. We also work with our students on classroom engagement, such as their choice of seating in the classroom, um, 
their preparedness. We work with our students on different methods of participation and what that might look like. Um, and also on body language. And uh, a few times a month, our learning specialists sit in uh, in the classroom um, so we can see what's happening that day in the class, the way instruction is taking place, the engagement that's there, and we can see how our student is engaging in that setting as well. And then when we have our next LSP session, you know, that provides so many valuable talking points um, to support their steps and their engagement in that class. We work with our students on self-advocacy, asking questions, asking for help, different ways to do that, requesting meetings, um, and utilizing accommodations. Many of our students at Dublin have accommodations in place to support their learning, um, and we want to support them with using them um, as is appropriate. And we support our students with metacognition, all of our students. We want everyone to be growing as it relates to their self-awareness, their knowledge of their strengths, their needs. Um, we help our students at different points in the term to set meaningful goals in response to teacher feedback. So at the midterm mark and at the end of the term, for instance. So we work with them you know, to really set those goals that are going to be important. Um, and as Mr. Bates mentioned this morning, helping our students with you know, really developing a, a growth mindset is something that we do as well. Even in failure, you know, there's so much opportunity there, and we want to look at that and reflect and grow. And that's a huge part of our program. And as it says down at the bottom, the skills and strategies are taught in the context of the student's current talents and learning needs. So what that means is that all of the skills, the discussions, the strategies that we introduce to our students are taught in the context of a current assignment that they have. So if they have an essay coming up in a class, if they have a test coming up in a class, if they're doing reading for a current novel, you know, we know those skills that our students will benefit from really um, strengthening, and we teach those skills in the context of their current assignments. That means that there's a lot of buy-in there, you know, because the students see, this is what I'm working on now, and I'm developing skills while I work on this, and that's really important. Another program This program also takes place in the Learning Center, which is right upstairs. Um, and it takes place specifically during evening study hall hours. So that's between 7.30 and 9.30 in the evening. These sessions um, take place in the LSP offices upstairs, uh, which are very quiet, with minimal distractions. Um, and enrollment is by semester. It's a little different from LSP, where enrollment is by year. With EAS, enrollment is by term. Two or four night, EAS options are available. And again, we want students to choose the option that's right for them. The ratio of EAS uh, between student and EAS proctor is five to one. So it's a really small group. And that EAS proctor is working closely with their five students who are in those separate quiet workspaces and supporting them with their, their engagement that night. Again, there's a lot of collaboration that happens between the EAS proctor the learning specialist, if the student is in LSP, the advisor, classroom teachers, uh, that's a really important aspect of this program. Some of our students enroll in EAS only, some enroll in LSP only, and some enroll in both programs. And again, that's something that we want to um, consider and approach very intentionally and thoughtfully based on the student's individual needs. And for this program as well, um, there are fees that are associated the structure can be found on our website. So these are some of the areas that you might work on with students in EAS specifically. Time management and prioritization, organization of materials, clarifying assignment guidelines and processes, um, helping students to really remain on task or take breaks to re-energize, for instance, self-monitoring and attention to detail, Helping them with their short term nightly assignments, but also looking ahead um, and what else is coming up this week. Effective study strategies um, and navigating different situations or challenges as they arise at night. You know, we want students to be able to look at a situation and problem solve with them and help them to really explore those options. And again, this is all during study hall hours, so really the focus is on the homework process and all of these skills are relevant. With both of the programs, students have achieved the goals when they independently demonstrate the use of effective learning 
strategies and a sense of ownership over their learning process. The individuals come to display more self-awareness, self-motivation, the courage to self-advocate, and they're in a position to thrive as learners at Dublin and also beyond. That's our goal. We want each of our students to really understand themselves, to develop those tools, to become more independent with them, and be able to carry them. Um, that's the end of just the information, um, but I put my information here. If you would like to contact me just to discuss um, any element of you know, your students and our programs and just discuss how we can support um, their learning needs, please reach out to me. I would be happy to connect with you. Um, and thank you so much for today. Yeah, it sounds like a, a wonderful program, a support mechanism that's necessary in education that you don't find everywhere. So, uh, thank you. No, th thank you. And uh, so, so most of the uh, uh, most of the uh, appointments are done during the study hall hours. You said uh, with the daytime learning skills program, yeah. that's actually built into the students' academic schedule. Yeah. So uh, we have a seven block schedule, and if the student is in the program, then some of those blocks will become their LSD sessions. Okay. And, and you target, I mean, you specifically target areas of, of, uh, of importance that, that, well, let me ask you this way, I mean, a parent may not be fully in, uh, aware of the, the struggling situation, perhaps, uh, and, and would a teacher or, or your department actually work to recognize that and make suggestions that, that they follow that they engage in your program? Yeah, so the, thank you for that question. Um, most, I would say most of the students who participate in this program do enroll from the very beginning. Right. Um, so during the admissions, the applications process, you know, there's a lot of thoughtful discussion that goes into the program that might be appropriate. Um, and we have students who, as the semester begins, we, you know, I am contacted and, you know, we, um, see that they might really benefit from this extra support built into their schedule. Um, and I'm having those conversations now, you know, now that we're kind of at the midterm point of the semester. Um, so we do have both situations that arise, and it's so much of it just comes down to that collaboration, you know, between the family, the student, the advisor, um, all of the, the members of that student support team to really find what is, what's going to help the student right now. And, and conversely, if, you, if someone's in the program, you see that they're actually uh, finding success in, in study habits and learning styles and whatever, then you, you kind of recognize that as well. Exactly. You see, you see like that towards the end of your uh, discussion here that the sort of that sort of graduated from the, uh, from, from the, uh, the program itself. Yeah. yeah. When students are ready, you know, then they will exit the program. And that's, you know, that's our goal. And um, we always want to get to that place. And that progression to get there is, is unique to every student. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Brown. Uh, I, I'm glad you're here. It's always good to know that there's a support and backup for in places where you never know when you're going to need it. You know, it's, a, it's a complicated world in high school. Dublin is a complicated school with a lot of you know, high academic uh, posture, and it's, it's important to, you know, if you don't want your child to do well. Yeah, so. We want our students to thrive. We want them to grow. So. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your, your time and for being here. No, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we get to know you better. So. <laughs> Likewise. Bye.